Hi, mathematics lovers! Today, you are going to learn how to factor sum and difference of two cubes. So, stay tuned! Recall the product of a binomial and a trinomial of the form quantity a plus minus b times the quantity a squared minus plus ab plus b squared. Quantity a plus b times the quantity a squared minus ab plus b squared. The product is a cubed plus b cubed. Quantity a minus b times the quantity a squared plus ab plus b squared. The product is a cubed minus b cubed. Reversing the equations, we have the formulas in factoring the sum or difference of two cubes. A cubed plus B cubed, the factors are A plus B and A squared minus AB plus B squared. To get the binomial factor, we get the cube root of A cubed, we have A. This is plus, so this is also plus. Cube root of B cubed is B. To get the trinomial factor, we square A, we have A squared. A times B is AB. We get the opposite, so we have negative AB. We square B, so we have B squared. A cubed minus B cubed. The factors are A minus B and A squared plus AB plus B squared. To get the binomial factor, we get the cube root of A cube. It is A. This is minus, so we have here minus. Cube root of B cube is B. To get the trinomial factor, we square A. We have a squared. A times negative B is negative AB. The opposite is positive AB. We square B, we have B squared. Remember that a polynomial is a sum or a difference of two cubes if it is a binomial and each term is a cube. Let's have the examples. State whether each expression is a sum or difference of two cubes. Write sort C if the expression is sum of two cubes and dot C if it is a difference of two cubes. Write not if the expression is neither sum nor difference of two cubes. Number one, 27x cubed plus one is a sort C. 27x cubed and 1 are perfect cubes. We have here plus, so we have sum of two cubes. Number two, the answer is not because of 9b raised to 4. Number three, the answer is dot c. 8x cubed and 125y raised to 15 are perfect cubes. And we have here minus, so we have difference of two cubes. Number four, the answer is not because of the first term, because of three. Since 27x cubed plus one and eight x cubed minus 125y raised to 15 are sum of two cubes and difference of two cubes respectively. Let us factor the two polynomials using the patterns a cubed plus minus b cubed is equal to quantity a plus minus b times the quantity a squared minus plus ab plus b squared. Number one, 27x cubed plus one. To get the binomial factor, we get the cube root of 27x cubed, it is 3x. 
cube root of 1 is 1. So our binomial factor is 3x plus 1. To get the trinomial factor, we square 3x, we have 9x squared. 3x times 1 is 3x. And we get the opposite, so we have negative 3x. We also square 1, so it is equal to 1. Our trinomial factor is 9x squared minus 3x plus 1. So the factored form of number 1, we have 3x plus 1 and 9x squared minus 3x plus 1. Number 2, 8x cubed minus 125y raised to 15. Let's get the binomial factor. We get the cube root of 8x cubed. It is 2x. Cube root of 125y raised to 15 is 5y raised to 5. So our binomial factor is 2x plus 5y raised to 5. Let's get the trinomial factor. We square 2x. We have 4x squared. 2x times negative 5y raised to 5 is negative 10xy raised to 5. We get the opposite. So we have 10xy raised to 5. We square 5y raised to 5. It is equal to 25y raised to 10. Our trinomial factor is 4x squared plus 10xy raised to 5 plus 25y raised to 10. Therefore, the factors of the given difference of two cubes, we have 2x minus 5y raised to 5 and 4x squared plus 10xy raised to 5 plus 25y raised to 10. Let's have another example. Number three, factor completely 54x raised to 4, y raised to 7, z, plus 16xyz raised to 4. 54x raised to 4, y raised to 7, z is not a perfect cube. And so with 16xyz raised to 4, the two terms are not perfect cubes. But we have a common factor of the two terms. And the common factor is 2xyz. We factor that out. 54x raised to 4y raised to 7z divided by 2xyz is 27x cubed y raised to 6. 16xyz raised to 4 divided by 2xyz is 8z cubed. So 2xyz is one of the factors. Look at the second factor. It is a sum of two cubes. So let's continue factoring. We have copy 2xyz. For the binomial factor of this, cube root of 27x cubed y raised to 6 is 3xy squared. Copy plus. We get the cube root of 8z raised to 3. It is 2z. Now the trinomial factor, we square 3xy squared. It is 9x squared y raised to 4. This is plus, so we write here minus 3xy squared times 2z is 6xy squared z. And we square 2z, 
it is 4z squared. So the factors of number 3, again, we have 2xyz, 3xy squared plus 2z, and 9x squared y raised to 4 minus 6xy squared z plus 4z squared. Now, I want you to try this. I will give you 30 seconds to do the activity. Timer starts now. quantity s plus 3t squared times the quantity s squared minus 3 st squared plus 9t raised to 4. Number 2, quantity ab cubed minus c raised to 5 times the quantity a raised to 2, b raised to 6 plus ab cubed c raised to 5 plus c raised to 10. And number 3, we have 2c squared times the quantity c plus 2 times the quantity c squared minus 2c plus 4. That's all for now. Mathematics lovers, don't forget all the things you have learned. Have fun in factoring!